Hit and run drivers may think that they can evade the law, but police are stepping up their tactics to catch those who drive away illegally. Our Eileen LaPalmer explains in part two of her special series, a story you'll see only on 12. Leaving the scene, you know you did something wrong. It's a cowardly act. Tom Walsh had his heart ripped out when his 18-year-old daughter, Brittany, was struck and killed by an alleged drunk driver in Lindenhurst in June of 2012. Police say the suspect drove away but was caught a short time later a few blocks away. Walsh says cops have worked hard to try to bring his family justice. They closed the road. They did a reenactment between overhead shots, on-ground shots, and just things. It was out of CSI. And we put in a, uh, a license plate. After a string of hit and runs and DWIs, Suffolk's Vehicular Crimes Unit was formed earlier this year in cooperation with the Suffolk District Attorney's Office. These are the seven detectives who are part of it. We formed this unit to give it a level of investigation as we would any other homicide. We are looking for the maximum period of incarceration. This team responds to the scene of a crash, scraping up every bit of evidence possible. Through forensic analysis, they can track the tiniest car part, glass, paint chips, back to a make and model of a certain car. When a car strikes a person, there's going to be transfer of evidence from that car to that person. Once police know the make and model of a car involved in the accident, they then search DMV records to find out exactly who owns that type of car. Of course, a lot of people can own the same type of car, so then it's up to good old-fashioned police work going door to door, car to car, until they find the actual vehicle involved in a crash. We owe it. We owe, we owe it to the person who's killed in their family. We're going to do our best, like any other homicide investigation, try and solve that crime. And in one recent case, Detective Lieutenant Ed Riley tells me the damaged car had been repaired, but they could see it had new parts and... We were able to recover the parts that he had taken off that car in a dumpster. As for Walsh, the court case against the man who allegedly killed his daughter is still pending. But he hopes by speaking out, maybe just one person will think twice before getting behind the wheel drunk. Because I'm done. My damage is done. I can't fix what, <clears throat> what happened to me and my family. It's, somebody ruined it from here already. Everything from here on is to help you, to help the children I teach, to help the children I coach. In Yapank, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12, Long Island. Well, that case against the man accused of running down Brittany Walsh is ongoing. Michael Grassing has another court date next Tuesday.